The Duff series started here in the early 70s. Karen opened the doors of Duff's to the literary arts community at that time, and it's been happening ever since. We would be getting uh, interesting characters coming in, and some of them met up with my husband. My husband, Dan Duffy, he and I started the restaurant. And he said, well, we could do something here at Duff's. And so they said, yeah, let's, 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 they was like, Judy Garland, let's put on a show. Let, so they put on a poetry reading. The impact that Karen Duffy and Duff's has had on the literary community is immeasurable. She really is a champion of the smaller and mid-sized arts organizations in St. Louis. Not just the literary arts, but all of the arts. I think it's vital, not just for the local literary community, but also uh, for the national literary community. We have writers from all over the country, sometimes the world, beating on the doors to read here, right here at Duff's. The stories in Ryan Stone's Best Road Yet are, quote, tender, wise, and sometimes painful. We went to the couch, one on each end, I'll sell you this year gun for $300, he said. You know, there would be a huge void in St. Louis if Duff's weren't here. Karen is a touchstone person. If you're interested in uh, arts and culture, then certainly, I mean, where else can you hear award-winning national writers coming right here to St. Louis to read from their brand new work? Anyone who has something to say to the world, those words will go on and on and on. Well, that person may disappear from the planet, but the words stay with us. Karen is very supportive, very grassroots, and just a really spunky woman that is a very quiet force in the arts in St. Louis. I have a lot of uh, memory books, and this was uh, the first thing in the River Sticks are in the poetry book. And it was written in uh, 1974 about Duff's first reading. There was a wonderful quote in here from my uh, husband, Dan Duffy. We will keep this going as long as the energy stays. There aren't many places like this. So while I'm not the founding mother, I have managed to carry on the tradition and I'm very uh, proud to have done that.